<laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> Holly Cordero and I'm a bassist with Bioelectric and today we're going to talk about improvisation. So what is improvisation? Improvisation is creating music in the moment but it doesn't necessarily mean just making up random notes. It's informed music creation. Now we are all informed musicians because we have two things on our body that tell us what notes are good and what aren't and that is our ears. Our ears can tell us which pitches sound good during music and which do not. We're going to take a simple song like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and go over how to improvise with that. So first, let's start with singing over Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You can go ahead and sing over a piano accompaniment of Twinkle and you'll be able to tell which pitches sound good and which do not. The hard part about this is, is translating it to our instrument. So we're going to discuss three steps to take in order to become better improvisers on our instrument. The first step is called crawl. So to crawl, and improvise. I'm going to concentrate on just one pitch and for this song we're in the key of C so I'm going to play the note C. I can play in any octave with any rhythmic variation but I can only play the pitch C. You can go ahead and try many different notes and you'll be able to figure out which ones fit and which don't. But we're just going to take this one. Alright, so the second step for improvisation is to walk. So to walk, we're going to add a couple more pitches. We're going to concentrate on the pentatonic scale for the key of C. The pentatonic scale in the key of C is C, D, E, G, and A. So we're going to use those five pitches and play along with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to just vary our different melodic content. Alright, so the last step for learning improvisation is going to be our run step. So to run, we're going to think about each chord that's played in the song and play those chord tones. So the three chords for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star are C major, and our chord tones are C, E, and G. The next chord is F major, F, A, C, and then we have G7 or G dominant. G, B, D, and F natural. So we're going to use those chord tones to highlight the harmonic movement that happens in the song. So here's an example of that. So there's many different ways to learn improvisation. This is just one way that I find helpful. I like breaking it down into smaller steps, so three steps, and then adding pitches slowly and figuring out what sounds good and what doesn't. So it's okay to go ahead and try it out, see what pitches you like and which don't sound very good. Go ahead and make mistakes, that's part of learning, and just have fun with it.